Now, what is the biggest issue facing the United States right now? Could it be cost of living, war, terror, or could it be TikTok? I swear I've never seen the government so unifying on one thing other than TikTok. Why? Well, because TikTok is owned by foreign adversary and is tied to communist China and China bad. So we can't, we can't, we can't let China have your information. So we're going to force you to sell your information to a good American company because you can trust us with your data, not those evil Chinese people. Urgh. I swear to God, I have no faith in the United States government anymore. I, I, I will literally move to Mexico. I, I swear to God. I have I had no idea that there was supposed to be a multiplayer Spider-Man game. Apparently Sony leaked the trailer for their Spider-Verse game and it just looks fun. Like why did they just scrap this? To be honest, just by looking at this footage, it looks like they had most of it done already. It really just looks like it's Spider-Man 1 and 2, but you just have more skins. Heck, a lot of the skins that are in this trailer are just in the games already. Spider-Man 2 already kind of like teases you with like, haha, what if there were other superheroes that you could like hang out and fight with? But like, this one would have been fun because those superheroes would have been people that I knew in real life. I wouldn't have to be such a lonely Spider-Man. I could hang out with spider people. And, and that's the real message that I'm trying to get across here. I just want to play Spider-Man games with other people. That's that's the dream and avatar news is apparently supposed to be a new series coming out in 2025 a sequel to the legend of Korra taking place another hundred years from the last show but before the show comes out we're supposed to be getting the animated movie and I'm hoping the movie's good because if it's not good then I have no faith for this show but if the movie's good then maybe the show will be decent I don't need it to be great I just need it to be watchable that's all I'm asking for here my biggest curiosity is just how far the world has advanced in a hundred years because the last hundred year leap was pretty pretty crazy spider-man fans I got some great news apparently Sam Raimi got asked hey would you do a spider-man 4 and he said there's a chance that it might happen I have the same desire to make a spider-man 4 as everyone else wants to see one I'm summarizing but that's basically what he said he said I want to make a spider-man 4 because I want to see one happen as well of course when the time is right we will get the movie if we ever do get the movie I do see this going into some dark terror territory of a uh, Batman situation where you have multiple iterations of the same character happening all at the same time. Luckily with the MCU, they did kind of set up the whole multiverse thing, so it might be a little easier for general audiences to get like, oh, that's Toby. He's doing his own thing in his own universe, especially with the whole Spider-Verse thing. I think it's a lot easier for general audiences to figure out like, oh, they're just doing stuff in their own timeline. So like, don't get these guys. They're, they're not all the same Spider-Man. They're Spider-Man humans <laughs> let's say you committed a bunch of crimes and the government was investigating you and they were like keeping you under watch and then you're like huh I should tell someone that I committed these crimes and tell them my plans of how I plan to escape my crimes who's the one person I should tell hmm oh I know Aiden Ross the kick streamer yes yes Aiden Ross the trustworthy and super super just I don't know super trustworthy guy well he could never do anything wrong with my information I don't know I'm assuming this is what was going on inside of Andrew Tate's mind when he decided to tell Aiden Ross hey you know I'm gonna be leaving the country that is currently investigating me so we should be filming some content if you don't know Aiden Ross basically just like snitched on Andrew Tate on accident and uh Andrew got arrested again and you can't even really fully blame Aiden because Andrew told Aiden why why would you I don't even like Andrew Tate but you're really telling me that you're dumb enough to trust Aiden Ross? Aiden Ross? With this information? Now, I love Batman as much as everyone else. In fact, I, I think I might like Batman a little bit more than everyone else. But, oh boy, Zack Snyder? Uh, he's got some things to say about Batman. He's like, ugh, I hate that DC keeps trying to enforce this no unaliving rule for Batman. Alright, you guys are making Batman irrelevant. And to be honest, if you've ever seen any of the Batman movies, you already know that DC really doesn't enforce this that much. Alright, Batman pretty much much unalized people in every single movie except for like two and I'm talking about all the Batman movies he even unalized people back in the 60s so to be like oh DC is enforcing this rule they really don't enforce the rule but also when we look at every Batman all right 
the one Batman that most people are kind of like, ugh, about is Ben Affleck Batman. And not even because Ben Affleck is a bad Batman, because Zack Snyder just makes Batman a, 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 a monster. Oh, it's not murder when Batman uses his tank to blow up a car full of people. The bullets blew up the car, not Batman. I don't think you understand how, how murder works, Zack Snyder. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, when Batman breaks someone's spine on a concrete wall, the concrete Concrete wall is the one that ended him. Not Batman. He just threw him. He accelerated the process, but the guy was gonna, he was gonna, either way.